Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present you the CI/CD engine that we recently built and released that allows you to build your um, pipelines for the infrastructure, uh, for the deployment of the infrastructure in a visual way and you orchestrate the stages. So this is, for example, just an example and um, the landing zone for AWS. And now I move into the CI/CD engine and here I can design visually my CI/CD engine. For example, for um, I start usually by doing a Terraform plan. So here, for example, I'm going to do uh, the Terraform plan for the first step. After that, if the action is successful, if the plan is successful, so what I usually do, I want to understand like the, uh, the cost estimation for my infrastructure. So I'm going to do here, for example, use infra cost and call it cost estimation and use the API key um, that I have generated. Uh, in parallel, at the same time, I want, for example, uh, to have some security checks with uh, TFSEC. So here I'm going to say uh, I want security checks. And, and also in parallel, I want to have some uh, security checks based on CIS, for example, using TerraScan. So here I call it CIS checks. All right. Once this is done, uh, I'm going to send an email, for example, to my team or, uh, for example, for your team or anyone at brainboard.co um, to tell that the infrastructure is ready to be deployed. And right after that, uh, I can also send a Slack notification or a Teams notification through the webhooks or any kind of notification. And after that, I'm going to say, OK, now uh, I'm confident with this. I'm going to create the Terraform apply. So here I can select the Terraform apply that will create provision physically the infrastructure um, and call it, call it here, for example, deploy. And after that, I can, for example, add through the webhook if I want to update the CMC, uh, CMDB or ServiceNow or Jira or whatever uh, external service that you want to um, update, you can trigger the, the webhook from here. So for today, I'm going to, like, let's say this is the pipeline that I want for my infrastructure. I click, I save the pipeline, and trigger it uh, here when, when I click on trigger pipeline. So once it's triggered, I can see here in the output the execution of all the steps that I had. For example, I can see how the plan, uh, the output of the plan. Then I can see the security checks uh, with CIS. So everything is good, is green, it passed. Then I can see as well the Terrascan uh, report. All right. Or, and also I can see the cost estimation for my infrastructure and for this landing zone. So it, it it's just an estimation. It's going to cost me 109 uh, USD dollars. And, and then I send the notification and the deploy, then notify the team. And I have the output if, of every pipeline I, I had. For example, um, if I check what I've done 17 days ago, I just click on it here. I can see, for example, the, the checkoff. For example, for this one, I was using checkoff. And it failed. And I can understand what uh, failed in Chekhov. So I can see, read the report, make the corrective actions, and trigger the pipeline again uh, in a way to have it successful. Um, and like everything is tracked, I can see the output of every action. Uh, and the pipeline here, the visual, represent what you have designed. And every time you change, uh, it's tracked, and you have the output that uh, that is associated to the uh, to what you to the uh, pipeline workflows that you have designed, and we took it to the next level. Now this pipeline, let's say, okay, this is the default pipeline that you want to use internally within your team or within your organization. You have the possibility to turn the to the pipeline into template. So now I can uh, turn it into template. So it will be here. And I go into template, I can see the workflow that I have designed is here. And now I can, uh, whatever the infrastructure that I build, I can quickly clone this template and use it on the infrastructure without any modification because uh, it, it can be applicable to any infrastructure. So this is the CI CD designer. 
uh, where you can design visually the stages. And there is a relationship between the stages. Um, you have the, the uh, horizontal actions, which means this are, these actions are sequential. For example, uh, the security check, cost estimation, and uh, TerraScan, they would not trigger if this action fails or I can ignore the failures. And uh, I have the possibility to organize the dependency between um, actions in a vertical way, which means, for example, uh, these three will all execute at the same time. And when all this succeeds, then I can move to the next one and send an email to say the infrastructure is, is ready to be deployed, or I can ignore the error to make it uh, move directly if I say, okay, the, the security checks I'm aware of or the cost estimation is acceptable uh, and so on. So test it, play with it. Uh, it's going to make life uh, your life uh, extremely easier. You don't need to learn any YAML specific configuration for any platform. You just um, design what visually makes sense to you, save it, and trigger it. Thank you.